Today, we're gonna look at the six levels of coding slash programming in Fortnite Creative. While there is not really coding as you might think of it with the written form, there is some kind of visual programming in Fortnite Creative. And today, I'm gonna give you the six levels that I think personally will describe to you and your level the best if you can say that you're in one of these levels. So that being said, let's jump right into it. If level zero is something where you, for example, cannot do any mechanics in the game, that means you do not even touch the devices in the game, then you're level zero. Level one would be using a singular device that doesn't link up to anything. While you could consider that not really being a mechanic, I would still consider it being level one because you still have to use the devices and devices are sometimes a little bit complicated to use even if they're just a single device. So these devices do not require any kind of channels to be linked up or with the new system, any kind of events or transmitter to be linked up. They can be just used as the single device. For example, the vending machine would be one of those where you just simply go in here, go into the weapons and then drop a gun in here and bam, you have basically your first mechanic in the game without using any other devices than the vending machine. Or another level one mechanic would be using the pop-up dialogue, which basically gives you a little like pop-up hint in the game um, you can use it completely without any other mechanics. You do not have to use any channels or the new linking system to do that. You can start from game start, you can put in whatever text you want. It is completely device free use and can be used just with the pop-up dialogue. Level two would require you to have at least two devices. I know that sounds crazy, but having two devices is for some people already a little bit confusing because they don't know the, what the devices are doing. They don't know how to link them up the best. So level two would be linking up two devices. For example, we can go here and link up a button to explode a barrel. With the new system, it is obviously super easy and you have to go into just the event system and then uninteract, which is like pressing the button. You just go and select the boom, which in our case, we named the thing that goes boom. And then you obviously want the event to just let it explode. And for that, you do not even have to go into the explosive device to change anything. You basically can do everything in the button. And as soon as you click the button, it goes boom. Also level two, I would consider everything that is turning on or off something super simple like this light over here. You can just like have a single click and the light turns on or off. That is super easy mechanics and I would consider if you can do that by yourself, that is definitely a level two. So we now enter level three and in here you probably have a very good understanding of what you can do with devices. Also the most devices you know by now and you know which one links good together. You might be a little bit scared of doing more complex stuff, but you're very easily advanced enough to link two devices together and have multiple So for example, level two mechanic would be mutator zone that replicates you emoting in the zone and then also turning on the dance mannequin um, while you're in the zone and if you leave the zone it turns off There's so for example as you can see right now if we go into the mutator zone the device is dancing and if we now emote the device is bucked well, I just figured out that the device is a little bit back with a few emotes so um, uh, we're just gonna use one that actually works I think the drip works yeah so let's just pretend this never happened and it works perfectly fine. Okay, so we enter the zone and then you can see the device shows up and now we can do some kind of emote and the emote is getting replicated and as soon as we leave the zone, the device disappears and we're good to go. Also, if you're level three, you, you by now know that creative is very buggy and sometimes just doesn't work, even if it should work. However, how this is obviously done is by just using all of the settings in this device. For example, on player stop emoting, starts emoting, entering the zone and exiting the zone. And then also in this level, we have the knowledge that we know that the dance mannequin has the option that we can activate skin and emote capture, which is something that I'm pretty sure not a lot of you guys know, which just started out with Fortnite Creative. Level four on the list is the advanced mechanic. In here, you cannot really do much more than the same thing that you did before. However, you have a lot more knowledge about devices and you now understand how devices work and how to manipulate them to your liking. So for example, we have a very simple setup where we can use the prop mover to, to move a cube left or right. This is probably something that a lot of people would stay away from if they just started with Fortnite Creative or they just learned how to do the dance mannequin thing. However, you have to understand a few things in Fortnite Creative to really make this work. So for example, you have to understand that the start option, the prop mover, has to be used the first time you're gonna use it, but after that, you need to use the advance option and the reverse option to get it in the other direction. So, so you can basically move the one cube with just the one prop mover instead of having, for example, like two prop movers here on the left and on the right side. So you can just save yourself a lot of memory and a lot of headaches with using multiple devices that might interfere with each other and that you might not be able to solve at this level of being a programmer slash coder slash mechanic in Fortnite Creative. A level five mechanic would be someone that can complete full 
device circles that all interfere with each other and all work together properly. So for example, we have the setup over here where we have a mutator zone and if we step into this mutator zone, we will be greeted with a pop-up dialogue, which then says, kill the guard to upgrade your weapons. Then if we click the pop-up dialogue, we get a weapon. The guard spawns at our control path. We have to kill the guard and then when we kill the guard, we get an upgraded weapon. That would be actually something that requires a lot of knowledge about the game and knowing which devices work together. So we can see our zone is over here. If we step into the zone, we will be greeted with a challenge. Kill the guard to upgrade your weapon. We're going to get the weapon. We're going to kill the guard and we get an upgraded weapon. I think being at this level already allows you to create very good games and create full maps by yourself without needing any help from anybody else. However, there's still a stage above this, which I would personally consider spending too much time in Fortnite Creative and playing too much around with the mechanics. Something like this is actually something that I would consider spending too much time in Fortnite Creative and learning too much about the devices that you probably do not even need to know. I would consider the mechanic by itself not the craziest or hardest mechanics. There's definitely harder things that you can do out there. However, the thing which requires you to become level 6 and uh, basically master all of mechanics is the problem solving. And I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people have to overcome to create very cool and new mechanics that nobody's ever seen before. But I think Fortnite Creative did a really good job at making the device and making everything that you need to basically create maps in Fortnite Creative as easy as possible. And I would assume that a lot of you guys probably easily understand how this works. You just have to move, you just have to move the prop movers in certain directions, but it doesn't work like that because Fortnite has some mechanics that just simply need some background knowledge to make them work. For example, with a prop mover, you cannot simply just use two prop movers on the same prop um, and then just use them on triggers like we did before with this one. We only had one, but this would not work. The key to this is, for example, that the devices, the prop movers have to be disabled before you can actually move them. So you have to enable them and you have to disable them after you move them. So that's the only way in how you can currently move multiple prop movers on a single prop. And that is something that is basically problem solving. The thing that actually makes the level 6 mechanic is solving the problem by yourself without getting any help. Because sometimes we just run into these problems where there's a new device, there's new settings, something new in the game which basically doesn't allow it to do what it's supposed to be doing or what you would wish it to be doing. But you can find a solution that basically solves this problem by simply disabling a few things or adding a few things, adding other devices to this one device to make it work in the end. It also, it also requires an extreme knowledge of other devices which could help you in this case. Um, so basically you need a full knowledge of every single device in the game and know every single setting which could help you solve the problem that you have right now. And this is where I see the cutoff line. If you're at this level, you basically understand everything in Fortnite Creative and you can solve every problem that comes to your way. So you can basically also create everything that you ever want in Fortnite Creative. Uh, obviously it has to be possible. There's certain things that you still cannot do in Fortnite Creative where there's no workaround. If you're in this level, you basically do not need help from anybody. You can create most of the stuff yourself and you will find a solution solution to the problem sooner or later. And that wraps it up for the six levels that I think, personally, in my opinion, that, that exist in Fortnite Creative for the uh, mechanics slash programming part in Fortnite Creative. Tell me, tell me if you agree with this list or not, and uh, I will see you guys back in the next one.